Absolutely. Very kind, very open, uh, always very, very friendly. This, of course, uh, are what folks are saying about uh, Naveen Singh as the investigation continues into the shooting. We are uh, seeing that police officers from Glenwood are returning here to the scene to gather more evidence. This as there is a continuing, growing tokens of sorrow for that beloved store owner. Some customers of Emporium Liquors are in shock this morning after learning his beloved owner was killed following an argument with an armed man. It's just a bad dream, you know, because I, I talk with all these people all the time. Yeah. They see you in. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, have a good day, you know. According to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office, Naveen Singh was shot to death at this Glenwood business. Investigators say it happened Monday night around 7 at the liquor store in the 300 block of East Glenwood Lansing Road. Police say the attack happened after Singh got into an argument with the suspect. That's when the man pulled out a gun and shot him. At least one person living in the neighborhood heard the gunfire. I heard at least about five gunshots. Singh was wounded and later died of his injuries. Now police are looking for the gunman. And I think the young gentleman that was, you know, leaving the store um, had kind of like a desperate look on his face. Meanwhile, those who knew Naveen Singh are remembering him as a friendly man who always had a kind word to share. They're really family to the community, yeah. I feel. Yeah. And I feel when situations like this happens, we all should come together, bring candles, bring flowers, show that you lost a family member and a, and, a, and a friend. And that's exactly what's happening. We just saw one of the detectives bring over a bouquet of flowers and place them with all the other tokens of sorrow and remembrance for this beloved store owner. We've also seen many of the officers and detectives start to canvass the neighborhood as they continue to work this case. Now, police have said that the community is in no danger whatsoever, but they have not confirmed and will not say if they have anyone in custody or if they have recovered a weapon. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.